Anybody have any idea what invention has saved more lives than any other in the history of humankind? The toilet. Yeah, I'm not at all surprised that you gasped. Guy's got a point. Toilets are the most important public health invention arguably ever. And the reason a guy like Matt Damon's talking about it now is because we're so squeamish it's preventing us from even thinking about what it means that 40% of the world doesn't even have access to a toilet. And with droughts in the United States worse than ever before, it is so important we understand what actually happens when we do this. start off with a little hand sanitizer today since we're going into the doo-doo zone. Yeah, right. Think of it as the toilet for, for a, a million people. <laughs> oh, great. This is the Hey, Jacob. Jacob. Jeff. Jeff nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Live. How are you doing? When you go sit down and you go to the restroom, um, do you really think, you know, when you flush the toilet where it goes? You really don't care. And that's why we try to I just to wanted to not public. be in my house anymore. No, you, try, no, you, you, you right. make sure that it doesn't back up. Yeah. Right? That's what you Go really back. Trust me, I got, the, okay. I got the plunger in the <laughs> special strategic spot in <laughs> the house. Just, we treat approximately, on an average, 62.5 million gallons a day. A that's day? A day. Wow. <laughs> Our highest flow day of the year is Thanksgiving. Oh, and we can wow. see the flow come up very slow during you know the cooking hours. Then in the peak evening, we have a second peak. You can see the flow. Everybody's come up. everybody's Literally. really eating so way too much. Exactly. So well, they're ending the, the yeah, exactly. they're on the other side. That's now. right, exactly. This side this is a sample of our raw. As you can see, we have the sediments, we have some floatables, and then we have, you know, a few um, floatables up here in suspended. When does it get filled up? I just, uh, the operators themselves just uh, picked up the samples within the hour. Got it. All right. Has a little odor to it, as you can smell. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Smells like money. Yeah. Okay. Just want to let you know. <laughs> All right. To me, it's money. All right. So this is our mixed liquor as we speak. This is the aeration uh, taken out right when it comes out of the aeration tanks. You can see the settling. The composition, it's been over an hour. Can I smell it? Sure, it don't smell bad. It don't. It don't start. He's right. Yeah. The raw smells, I mean, sometimes you light a candle in a match, right, in your bathroom. Uh, sometimes. Thank you. I okay. Light three to five matches well. every time. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. Yeah. And this is our secondary effluent. Look how, look how it's getting. Look how clean wow. it's getting. Okay, you can smell it. There's not, <laughs> there's no smell to it. Then what we do, this is our final. Our final product this right here. This is Poland Spring stuff right here. This is an arrowhead. Uh, you can see it. Spring water. You know, it, it's it's very clear. The clarity is there. And like Sam was. <laughs> Yeah, but it smells like tap water. I'm not, yeah. I mean, no exaggeration. We meet discharge yeah. drinking standards, but like Sam said, it still has to be naturally filtered. Well, that's why we're trying to educate people in, in the toilet and tap. You know, actually, all in all seriousness, because that's a, that's actually not a bad way to put it, because if people sort of understand that they're already drinking yes. recycled yeah. water in exactly. some instances. Why are we saying we're not drinking recycled toilet water now? It, ultimately, it is. We are. We are drinking it, like Sam said. We are. But it has to go through the spreading bases right. and back into the water table before it is drinkable. Okay, well, let's go check it out. Ready to go. When the water comes in, it comes into this pumping house right here, the influent pump building. Oh. Ear protection must be worn in this area because it's really needs to be loud when you're sorting 50 million gallons of shit. As you can see, down you can see the bottom of the of the wet well, or dry well, I should say, and it's literally two and a half stories down. So that's down below there, two and a half stories down. Is that yeah. just raw sewage? Yes. Yeah. So we'll go outside and I'll show you the raw. Okay, cool. Let's go. So from the from the influent pump house, it comes into this first channel. This is called the raw channel. Okay. Okay. It smells pretty raw. And right, so right now we're walking over the raw sewage. We're walking over the raw sewage right now. I'll pull a cover up right here. Okay. You can smell it, right? No. Don't hold your nose. Oh, oh God, I can't oh. smell. No, it don't. All right? Oh. So, oh. <laughs> here you go. Hey. Oh. 
Oh, so anyway. Sorry, I shouldn't spit. Exactly. Sorry, sorry. All right. This, so is, this, is, this is a workplace. Sorry right. about that. So this is our raw channel. As you can see, everything is pretty much in suspension. We, we keep air in it. I saw a dookie. There it is. Was your name on it? Oh. All right, well, you can see oh, little suspension. Yeah. You can little stuff. And, you know, particles within. But everything is shredded within that bronze impeller. So what's happening is, before it gets to this point, it's being shredded up. Yes. So this is literally 50 million gallons of... It's like of coleslaw. It's like, you know, shredded coleslaw. Except for it comes out your butt. Yes, it's your butt coleslaw. Okay? <laughs> That's what it is. And you said you use three to six matches each time. Uh, this is you right here. This is all this. you. And There's something kind of fun about this. It is. And look at you like the smell now, right? Uh, the smell no. of money. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just thought maybe you would, you would enjoy. Oh. It. <laughs> the oh. way these tanks are cut. All right. So here you go. You can start. You can see that we we slowed we slowed the flow down to one. The flights are equivalent to one feet per uh, minute, and you can start seeing some of the floatable starting to come up. <laughs> All right. Whoop. And you can start oh, seeing a little it's bit a floor. Floatable, okay? So you really never see like a big piece of poo you, at this facility. Every so often you'll see a little one, you know. But, but I no. mean, basically, like when you go to the toilet and you might make a big poo. Yeah, a 20 yeah. twister or yeah, something. Exactly. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's yeah, a not, spinner. It's yeah, exactly. All right, there you go. That's the not big load. Going to, <laughs> all right, there you go. <laughs> He's right, got the famous hot dog. So it's not, it's not even going to make its uh, way through the... talking Italian, Mexican? What kind of food? Chinese? What, what, what are we talking here? How many spins? Is it going to make right. it? It won't. You'll never see those here. Well, we calculate that, okay? Chinese food, <laughs> 10 spins. Mexican food, 12. All right. Italian, we got all that. <laughs> all right. Let us know. What would right. you eat last night? <laughs> uh, last night, I had uh, just some chicken and a salad. Ah, one spin. That comes right okay. through. Yeah, that's a boring meal. Okay. As you can see, it's, you know, stuff is starting to float now, you know, and things are starting to settle down. The more denser material is settling down, the heavier, uh, I mean, the lighter material is floating up. Right here, <laughs> your dookies are going down, right. your PP is going up. If it's mellow, I mean, if it's yellow, it's mellowing up on the top, and if it's brown, Stick it's flushed around. down to the bottom. Look at there's a uh, condom, condom right there. Oh wow, we got a All condom. Right. Yeah, got a shot of it. So what we're doing is the natural stream, the same process except in in in, in bigger bulk. And accelerated, yeah. yeah and accelerated plus more volume. Okay. Let me see if this one hot. All right, there you go. What is that? It's like a CO2 canister. It's a tampon thing. Oh yeah. <laughs> It's a tampon applicator. Thank God we have a woman here. <laughs> like, is it a CO2 canister to fill up your, <laughs> your tire on your bike? Oh, man, only a man's perspective yeah. would say that. <laughs> you know? Shows how manly I am. I'm ashamed that I didn't recognize a tampon. But at the same time, I don't use tampons. Just saw a condom float by. Uh, just saw a piece of paper in there, seeing a bunch of diarrhea on the surface. And at the end of the day, uh, we're all going to be drinking this because it goes back into the water table, it gets pumped up to your taps, and it is delicious. Oh, tampons, condoms, dookies, oh my. All right, so as you can see right here, you can just look over here, you can see all the floatables. Watch yourself. Oh, there's a, there's a lot of tampons. All right, here you go. There's tampons everywhere. Exactly. Don't fucking flush your tampons, people. <laughs> Because it's a plastic and it's not biodegradable. This is like an, an epiphany for you. It's amazing. You know, I mean, because you never would have thought. It's incredible. Yeah, that, that you would see this, you know, on, on a, on a first-hand basis. I'll be thinking about this next time I'm on the can. A note to it. Yeah. If you live upstream, it might come yeah. downstream. As an operator, as you walk through, you look at the signs, the characteristics, as we do on a daily basis. Okay. And you know, we like like a milk chocolate. We know it's good. If it's a dark chocolate, it's bad. If it's a light chocolate, you know, no solid. This is the mighty LA River. A lot of this water comes from your recycled toilet water, and the water's actually so clean, you can even see a guy down there 
fishing. With the drought here in California and droughts all over the United States, it might be time to stop thinking about discharging recycled toilet water into a river like this, and sending it directly back into our taps. Let me grab you an actual sample right now okay. from our F1. Okay. okay. Can I do? Can I actually get the sample? Let me, let me pull my pants up. Yeah. Now that you know how to get. It, right? What are you getting, Jacob? I'm getting some cleaned out shit water. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah. From your butt to my beaker. Is that what that is? <laughs> you can so. hold the beaker. You can take it out. So this is clean water? Yes, clean water. Do you really want to try? Sure. Mitch is going to try it. All right, Mitch. Watch yourself. Trade me. I'll trade you the water for the camera. That's OK. Here he goes. Oh my god! Ew. It's like water. <laughs> it's like huh? water, boy. It's like water. It's like water. Very good, clean. Look at that. You're not gonna sip it? No. We can't. We can't. Can. Let's try it. Not bad. Pretty good. Cool. Yeah. Are we all going to have diarrhea now? No, I'm going to tease them. Glad you signed the release. Yeah, exactly. <laughs>